The Zeke Assessment, October 20th, 2023, week 42 of 52. Just got through with a strength training session. My goal this week was to have four strength training sessions. Along with some other stuff, we'll cover that in the wrap up. So, okay. This is just a basic standing relaxed pose. In bodybuilding, this is when they bring people out on the stage, this is the generally the first thing that they're looking at, just straight on a basic pose. I'm gonna run through some of the basic poses. Not all of them are my favorite. Some of them I really hate the way I look at them, but this is just part of the journey, right? I'm not going to tell you which ones, <laughs> right. at least not right now, just for fun because I'm working on my psychology with it. Okay, so front stand and relax. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. <clears throat> Front double bicep. Front lat spread. Turn to the right, left side chest pose, relax, left side tricep pose, Relax, turn to the right. Rear double bicep with one calf posing. Relax. Front lat spread. Relax. Four turn to the right. Right side chest pose. Right side tricep pose. One of the reasons I love posing is because one of my mentors always said that posing helps bring out the cut and definition, the shape. A person that doesn't flex and pose their muscles can be like an uncut diamond. You know how a diamond looks when it's really cut? Front, standing front. Now we're going to do a most muscular pose. Overhead abdominals and thighs. Relax. 
Relax, freestyle. Let's see here. A couple of freestyle poses. I don't like my hands over my head usually. So let's leave it at that. I feel really good about that. I had a lot of good workouts this week, and then we'll just uh, see you in the wrap up. Whatever you do with your fitness, plan wise, do with all your might. So, so what, do, what does that mean to you? What do you think about that? And how do you feel about that? So that's the journey I'm on. And so I'm just sharing it with you. My, this journey is about, the vlog is about fitness journey, finance journey. And what I have found is that this morning I had a, I'm always looking to try to find ways to do things better. And this morning I came across a quote in a book that I was listening to. It says, whatever you do, do with all your might. I love that. And I feel like a lot of times that's, um, I've fallen short of that. But when it comes to my fitness, I'd say now I'm, it's Friday. This is a vlog, like a journey. So I'm sharing with you the pros and cons, the victories and challenges of my week. Uh, my fitness week being, it's week 42. So I, I like to track things, you know, whatever, whatever you can track, I feel like things that you track, you take taking more seriously, right? I track, track my expenses, income and expenses. I track my habits with nutrition. I track my tra journal, my track, my nutrition i'd like to track it better i'm actually working on a better tracking system for that but i know what i'm eating i'm have a goal every day to achieve certain amount of things to eat so you know so what the key is though when it comes to your fitness and or your finances whatever you do do with all your might whatever it takes to get there you know some kind of tracking system a coach a accountability partner and that's what coaches are really good at as being an accountability partner. But go for it. Go, go for it. When it comes to your health and fitness, consider following what I call the five fundamentals of fitness. Always keep it. I, I, I know I've said it a few times, but repetition is the mother of skill. When it comes to your fitness, there's basically five key things to consider. It's proper training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation and mindset right so okay so this is my journey my blog and i'm just sharing and you can take and learn from what what you can so this last week my goal was to do swimming three and i have an advanced program so don't let this scare you but um my activity levels higher than most so i had a three times swimming three times yoga three times tai chi four times strength training that was my activity goal for for training for strength training and I fell short once on the yoga once on the swim twice on the Tai Chi so so this week that's my goal is to do better with that so three swim sessions three yoga sessions or more all these are three or more but three minimum three swim three yoga three Tai Chi four strength I just had a great uh, session this morning with my physical therapist. We're working on some some key things to heal. So I had a nice routine with that. I just put he helped me put together a new routine. So I'm going to implement that three times next week. But that'll take some of the leg training off the strength. I'll put it in place of the strength. So those are my fitness goals. The swimming has been really good. I've noticed good cardiovascular, so I use that for my cardiovascular. So I don't add any additional cardiovascular right now. And nutrition, uh, my goal is to eat 100% plant-based vegan lifestyle, which I love. And this also to learn more healthy recipes, things that, that uh, really taste good and delicious. So when you eat it, it's like, oh, so good, you know, just so satisfied. And that's the thing with diet, I, I found, is to just be satisfied. So, so, so that's the goal. Um, personally... Everybody's different. That's why if you're here for weight loss, I, I urge you to please reach out to me for a complimentary consultation. One conversation, and I can save you a lot of frustration. A lot of frustration. Just with one call, I can save you a lot of frustration. 
So I encourage you, if you're listening to this right now, please reach out to me. If you feel that urge to call or text or messenger or email or whatever it is, click on the website or whatever you, you can do. If you feel that calling you right now, I urge you, please do it. I can, I can take a lot of, I can, I can speed your progress in one conversation. I can eliminate so much. But that's why one-on-one -on -one is really important. Everybody's different. So for me, my, my personal goal, because I am trying to gain 15 pounds, is I'm, my goal is to eat 3,600 calories a day, approximately 150. I mean, I haven't decided between 150 grams of protein or 200 grams of protein. I'm, I'm 170. My goal is to be happy and grateful that I'm 185. So I'm, I'm still teetering with that. Carbohydrate, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, 600 grams a day is my target. And 45 grams of fat a day is my target. One gallon of water a day. Rest, seven and a half to nine hours every day. Did I get that last week? Nope, not every time, but probably four of the seven days I got it every time. And then the three that I did it, I just stayed up too late, had to get up too early. But that's not good because at night, that's where the growth hormone and the release and the healing, it's so important. So it's Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, my goal is to be happy and grateful that I get a good rest tonight, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and then of course the rest of the week. But these next three days, I'm going to really aim to, to get seven and a half to nine hours sleep. So, so we talked about training, nutrition, recovery, supplements. When it comes to the supplements, I'm still teetering around with some different supplements. I'm, I'm trying to, my goal is to gain strength. I'm considering uh, re-adding creatine, but there's a, there's a couple different, there's a new kind. Um, and I can't remember it off the top of my head right now, but I'm considering that in the supplement journey. But I do, I love my Orgain Organic Meal Replacement Shake. It's got 20 grams of protein and about 20 grams of carbs per two scoops and oh my goodness that has been so helpful and if possible I, I've gotten the bulk variation at Costco so if you want to save some money uh, that's one way to do it there and then the mindset the mindset's really important I'm really working on the mindset so we talked about training nutrition recovery supplementation and mindset right so in regards to the mindset I do say my goals every day in the present tense that I am happy and grateful now that I am, and then I state my goal, and I'm really clear and specific. I'm clear and specific. I know exactly how I want my physique to look, and so I just uh, I say that. I pray. If you don't believe in prayer, you can call it affirmation, and I put it out there in the present tense with I am happy and grateful now that I am, and you can use the same thing. You can just take that, write it down, memorize it. I am happy and grateful now comma, that I am, and then you state your goal, that'll train your mind, right? So we talked about training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. So that makes sense. Um, please let me know. Put, put a one in the chat. Let us know where you're coming from. I, I, I'm looking for uh, more engagement, so if you're open to it, say hello, or where you're coming from, or whatever. Uh, maybe you don't need to go to the next level but maybe there's someone that that does so if you like and comment that does boost it up so please please help with that so i'm going to that is the fitness update so i'll do the finance update uh, later this evening i'm gonna probably finish up the last video with a bitcoin update and so i am currently just to touch on this why that and and why fitness and finance well health is wealth I believe personally that health is wealth. Without our health, without, I feel like without my health, it's rough, right? If we don't have our health, it's, it's rough, right? Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Now, what I've learned is cash flow. Okay, cash flow is, now remember the set phrase, cash is king. Everybody's heard that, cash is king, right? Well, my mentor says, cash flow is king. So on my business side, I'm working on cash flows, and I'll talk about that later when I do the wrap-up later tonight. But cash flow, so that's, that's the thing, my mentality about this. Health is wealth, cash flow is king, cash is queen, and credit is freedom. So those are the four things that I'm working on on the finance side. Um, my goal is to just have both of them equally strong, fitness and finance. 
So and you can see the me and I'm measuring things and you can see the progression. And that's the thing. We talked about that earlier this week. And I'll wrap up this video was that what is success? Whether it's financial success or fitness success, what is just success in general? Relationship success. This is what I believe that success in anything, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, right? So what is that? So fitness, okay, am, am I progressing? I can see I'm progressing. Finance, I can see I'm progressing. So I feel successful, right? But there's things I can do better. That's why each week what I do is I'm looking back on both areas of my life. What can I do better? I say what, what worked, what didn't work? And then I make the plan for the new week. So coming up on week 43, and I may tweak some things. Yeah, like last week, oh yeah, I did some... I ran, did, did a few things different this week, and then I'll take from that, and I'll, and I'll go over those later. That's more on the business side, how I was generating leads for my, for, um, my coaching service. But so, so, yeah, and then one of my mentors also said this morning, I'll let you go, if you're in sales of any kind, instead of prospecting, it's great to do have people contacting you. That's why these videos are very good. People get, get used to what we're saying and feel more comfortable reaching out. Um, but generating leads is a very important part of my business. So lead generation is huge, it's a huge part. Without lead generation, you have nobody to work with, right? So it's real important. So if you're in that kind of business, um, I'll be talking more about that going forward, but that's that's on the business, on the finance side. So fitness and finance, wrap up, almost wrapped up. There'll be probably one more thing before we post this last vlog of the week. This is finishing up week 41 of 52 right you see you see how i'm doing that so i'm measuring my weekly goals so and it's kind of a fun way to do goals whether it's fitness or finance so it's week finishing up week 41 how many weeks are in the year 52 so it's 41 of 52 and then it's 2023 so we're going into next week 43 um starting for me it starts sunday it's kind of like saturday saturday's like my rest and Refigure things, and then Sunday's day one. Going back at the, going at it, right? Like a like a lion. That's what I want you to do. Go at your goals like a like a lion would go after its goals, right? Okay, all right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'll be back. Friday evening, October twentieth, twenty twenty three. It's currently around seven p.m. at the time. Actually, live. This is just a look at the bars that you see, the blue bars on the screen. That represents the end of the week on the right and the beginning of the week on the left. So you can see the, how Bitcoin has traveled over the last seven days. It's actually since last Friday. Look at that. It's actually gone from nice jump. About 27,000 to 29,500. Quite a move, quite a move. Now you see that it's in the in the green bars right now, so that's my levels of resistance I have that's drawn on the daily time frame. So I feel like personally, it could be it's I feel like it's at a re, at a resistance zone. If it gets breaks above uh, that, if it breaks above thirty thousand, basically, and closes and holds, then we could be keep going higher. But I feel like we're currently at a resistance zone right there. As you can see, we're right in the middle of those two green zones. I just wanted to leave you with something. If you're interested in how you can benefit from this, if you're curious about how digital assets work and how you can trade and invest them and do it on your own terms, on your own time, and everybody's different. You just got to kind of discover what kind of trader or investor you are. But if you're interested in finding out more about the Academy, I am a independent business operator for the Academy. So I'm looking for people who are interested in becoming a, a member and learning. We have an online Academy. We have over over a hundred different instructors that teach and you can just learn. And it's just like anything else. You just learn as you go along. But if you're interested in collaborating, then please consider reaching out to me. I'd love to talk to you about it. And this is on the four hour time frame. The bars are one week. So that's the last week as we're wrapping up the, the final, my Friday night um, evening is wrapping up. So this is the end, to me, this is the end of week two, 42 of 52. So that's week 42 right there. You see between the blue bars of 52. So we have about 10 more weeks left.
in the year. <clears throat> so where do we go from here? We will see. All right, I'll be back. <laughs>